hello viewers in this video we'll see common size income statement first we'll see the meaning of it it is the profit and loss statement and it will list the individual accounts as a percentage of total revenue to make it easy to compare and analyze different companies okay in this a uh, common size income statement uh, the profit and loss account of various companies have been analyzed and compared and uh, here the sales is taken as the base in order to find out the other figures as a percentage of sales here everything is converted into as a percentage of sales okay um, the sales serves as a basis for finding out the percentage of the other figures okay let's see the format of it yes this is the format of common size income statement okay here this is the normal format which will be used to find out the net profit net sales minus cost of goods sold gross profit will get and with that we have to subtract the operating expenses will get operating profit and we have to add the non operating incomes non operating incomes are nothing but the financial income and uh, we have to subtract the non operating expenses here will get the net profit i hope you all know what all non operating expenses the expenses do not relates to the operation of the business it is said to be the non operating expenses like uh, interest pay dividend pay loss on sale okay and financial income are those which do not get affected due to the operation of the business okay and uh, example for this is uh, interest received uh, dividend received profit on sale okay and next thing we have to write the amount of all those items and we have to find out the percentage of it okay here the percentage is calculated on the basis of sales okay here the sales is uh, taken as the basis and percentage to that we have to find and similarly for the current year too and here we can compare for between firms also different firms we can compare this common size income statement okay let's start doing the problem you'll come to know how to calculate this percentage and all from the following profit and loss account of jj limited for the year ended 31st december 2004 and 2005 you are required to prepare a common size income statement for the years 2004 and 2005 okay the profit and loss account was given okay using this we have to find out the net profit uh, let's see how to do it yes first we have to start with the net sales yes the net sales here is 400 and 500 okay first i have written for 2004 it is 400 and we need to find out this percentage uh, this 400 divided by 400 will get 100 percentage okay that i have written it here we have to take this 400 as the base for this 2004 information okay whatever we write in this uh, 2004 we have to take this 400 as the base okay and similarly for 2005 for the year 2005 we have to take this 500 as the basis okay this is the sales amount for 2005 so 500 divided by 500 will get 100 here okay the next item we have to write is this cost of goods sold here it is 300 and 375 okay see 300 divided by 400 will get 75% and similarly 375 divided by 500 will get 75% okay this is the base for us okay we need to find out this percentage using this base okay just simple as that 300 divided by 400 will get 75 and 375 divided by 500 will get 75% okay and next we'll get gross profit yes gross profit is 400 minus 300 100 so 100 divided by 400 will get 25% and similarly for 2005 125 divided by 500 will get 25% okay and next is operating expenses we have here the administrative expenses will come under operating expenses and selling expenses will also come under operating expenses okay first we'll write administrative expenses it's 10 for 2004 and 10 for 2005 yes so 10 divided by 400 will get 2.5% and 10 divided by 500 will get 2% and similarly we have to work out for this selling expenses it's 15 and 20 yes 15 divided by 400 it's 3.75% and 20 divided by 500 will get 4% okay now we have to add this total operating expenses will get yes it's 10 plus 15 25 and percentage to this is 25 divided by 400 will get 6.25 and similarly here 
30 divided by 500 will get 6 percentage. Okay. Now we will get operating profit. If we subtract this to. Yes. Operating profit is 100 minus 25, 75. And here 125 minus 30 will get 95. And the, in that also we have to find out the percentage. So 75 divided by 400 will get 18.75. And 95 divided by 500 will get 19 percent. Okay. Here we don't have non-operating income and non-operating expenses. Okay. So we we'll, can put dash for this non-operating income we don't have and non-operating expenses also we don't have. Okay. So the same operating profit will get as net profit. Okay. I hope now you are clear to calculate this common size income statement and I have given you a small problem for you to practice. You just kindly work out this problem and comment in the comment section. I'll check your answer. Thank you for your patient listening.